So today Blackmagic has finally released the update that I've been waiting for for a while and that's the update that brings the Gen 5 color science to the Blackmagic 6K. So previously Blackmagic has held the Gen 5 color signs to their upper end cameras. But today with the new firmware update, we're now able to see it on this camera right here. And so in this video, I wanna show you guys some A and B tests of the older color signs compared to the new Gen 5 that comes on this camera now. So if you're not as interested in the color signs and the A and B tests that I'm about to show, you can use the chapters below to skip to the other updates that also were released today. So with that being said, let's roll the montage so that you guys can see the different clips. What? moment I haven't seen the Gen 5 color science but I'm going to be editing this in DaVinci Resolve and I'm also going to be doing the DaVinci wide gamut so that it already put some color and different things into it and I'm going to be exporting it just like that so that you guys can see exactly how these two images look without any color grading or etc. Now with that being said I'm also going to upload this video in 8k so that you guys can see as much resolution as you would want to and also maybe it'll improve the color science a little bit better with the YouTube compression. I I don't know, we'll see, but I hope you guys can actually see the difference in the two shots. super interested to see which angle you guys thought was the gen 5 color science so again if you haven't commented yet go comment and then come back up and click play on this video so camera b was actually the gen 5 color science which is actually kind of weird because i bet a lot of you guys thought that camera a was the gen 5 color science now in today's video i just wanted to do a brief overview of all the things that were released today in this update i didn't want to go into an in-depth review this is not what this video is at all however there will be one of those videos coming out now with that being said there are other things that came out on the update one of those things being the rgb histogram which is awesome now i use the rgb histogram whenever i'm editing in post just like a lot of other people who do a lot of color grading but having this on the camera whenever you're shooting is a huge benefit now another thing that i noticed while shooting is it seemed that my lcd on a new update was actually way way better than the other camera the old cameras update uh, and I think that's because they've also worked a lot on the screen and the way that it looks in the new update and now that I'm thinking about it that actually is true because after reading the firmware update details they did say that you now can calibrate your screen so that you can get better colors better brightness and contrast and all those different things on your Blackmagic 6k so that's also an awesome added benefit as well another thing that I've seen in the menu is you now have the option to conserve battery life by allowing the LCD to automatically dim, and you can con you just have more controls over the way that you want that to function so I hope you guys were able to see what the benefits of this new update bring I know I kind of did a very brief overview but it did come out today and I do want to release this video tomorrow but I also do want to say that again I'm going to be releasing a kind of in de detail in depth video on this new update specifically the color science because again when I got in the post and I was editing these videos to the you know the little montage that I did I was so confused because I noticed that you know camera a which was the older update looked much better than the second one and it i thought i maybe mixed up the clips but i didn't i went back and i checked my sd card and i checked the name of the clips and everything was correct but again when i saw those histograms and i saw you know how much you can maximize your color grading then i was like all right that makes so much sense and I'm so excited to jump in here, dive in, and do some extreme color grading with this new Gen 5 update. But for now, that's all that I have for you guys. Again, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and I'm going to be releasing that other video within the next week, so stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button if you already haven't. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.